Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Fit Man Style channel. My name is Ian. If you're new here, I invite you to hit that subscribe button down below. I talk about menswear for the Fit Man on this channel as the name suggests. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you know anytime I drop a video. I, I apologize for not dropping a video this past Sunday. I was a little bit caught up with, with uh, life. Um, but I'm back again this week dropping another video. And today's video is going to pick it back off of last week Wednesday's video. So last week's video was about places you can go to to read about menswear. If you're one of those people who absorbs information better by reading, I went through a list of books, magazines, and online platforms that you can check out. In that video, I also mentioned that I'm one of those people who absorbs information better by watching. So if you're like me, if you prefer watching over reading, this video is for you. I'm going to go through a list of movies and TV shows that I have watched in the past and that I'm currently watching that teach me a lot about menswear. Let's start with the first one. Number one on the list goes to Wall Street. This movie came out in 1987 and it features a very infamous character by the name of Gordon Gekko, played by Michael Douglas. Now, if you're into corporate style or if you work in a corporate environment, this is one movie to check out to get inspiration from. His character, Gordon Gekko, displayed a lot of confidence and power with a hint of playfulness. And you can see that in what he wore. The pinstripe suits, the high-waisted pleated pants, the pants without belt loops to give him a nice streamlined look. He wears Winchester shirts, which are shirts that have a contrasting collar and cuff, so a white collar and a white cuff, always with a cuff link. That kind of influenced me to get my own, which I got from Hockety a few months back. I'm going to link up to that video so you guys can check that out. And he also did something that I don't see a lot of men doing in menswear. Only pockets of, of, of men are doing it. And that's wearing his tie bar at a slant. I believe that's what gives his, his overall outfit a little bit of flair and playfulness. Number two on the list goes to The Great Gatsby. With Leonardo DiCaprio, he plays a character by the name of Jay Gatsby. And what you would get out of that movie is, is seeing how men used to dress back in the roaring 20s. There was hardly any slim fit suits. All of their suits had a nice drape on them. And that's the main thing you would get out of it. Seeing how a suit should properly drape on a man's physique. A lot of vintage clothing, wide lapels, which I always preach about on this channel. If you're a fit guy with a broad chest, always go with wide wide lapels. I love how the the, the men in that video wore, wore um, collars with, with collar bars that kind of prop up the, 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 the tie so you can show off the, 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 the tie not more. Um, it, it also shows you how to accessorize your, your outfit. They wore canes, they wore hats, they wore pocket watches. So definitely check out The Great Gatsby. Number three on the list goes to the TV show Suits, featuring a very arrogant but very good corporate lawyer by the name of Harvey Specter. Now, the first season of that show, the suits were a little bit mild. I wasn't impressed. But starting from the second season, they definitely stepped it up. Hardly saw the, the character Harvey Specter wear any notch lapel suits. All of his suits seems to be a peak lapel. You know, peak lapel, it, 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 it exudes power and, and confidence. And again, if you are in a corporate environment, that show shows you the colors that work well in corporate environments. So your charcoal grays, your, your, your blues, and your blacks with hardly any pattern. So whether he was wearing a two-piece or three-piece suit, you knew that Harvey Specter was going to handle his business. Number four on the list goes to the James Bond series. Now, what I'm about to say is going to be very polarizing, but I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. But if you were to ask me, the best actors that played the James Bond character were Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig in both acting and style. The suits were well-made, well-fitted, properly draped. If there is any place that I would watch to, to learn how to wear a tuxedo, it would definitely be any of those James, James Bond movies. I mean, the tuxedo game in all those movies were just immaculate. It, it was top notch and it made him look like a badass too. So definitely check out any one of those James Bond series by any of those three. Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan or Daniel Craig. 
Number five on the list goes to the Boardwalk Empire TV show. Similar to The Great Gatsby, this was staged back in the 1920s. So there's a lot of similarities in what they wore. The wide lapel suits, the club collars, the collar bar, the pocket squares, uh, the accessories like uh, the canes, the hats. They wore a lot of three-piece suits. And one thing I didn't notice when watching that show was that they wore braces, but the braces were underneath the vest portion of the three-piece, which I find to be very interesting. I don't see a lot of men doing that th th these days, but I love TV shows and movies like that because they give you a glimpse into how men used to dress back in the day and kind of give you a, a, a history of how a suit is supposed to drape on a man's body. So Boardwalk Empire goes to number five. Number six on the list goes to a show that has since been canceled, but I'm sure if you diligently search for it, you will find it, and that is Hannibal. It follows the forensic scientist and cannibalistic serial killer, Hannibal Lecter. Now that character was always in a three-piece suit, beautifully fitted, peak and notch lapel, very playful with the colors and the patterns. This is a thinking man's show so if you're into puzzles and mystery this is a show to definitely check out while also being graced with all of that tutorial splendor so definitely check out hannibal number seven on the list goes to the netflix show peaky blinders if you really want to see the military influence on modern day menswear that's definitely a show to check out it was based after world war one back in uk and the main characters from that show are military veterans and you can see it in what they wore uh, three-piece suits, uh, pocket watches. They wore newsboy hats, which was very common back in those times. And I don't see men wearing that a lot nowadays. Of course, in that show, they wore it with suits, but you can definitely wear a newsboy hat casually. That show made me want to get shirts with club collars. It looks so cool. I eventually had a shirt made by Harkity with a club club collar. And uh, definitely, definitely check out Peaky Blinders on Netflix. So number one through seven seems to be all about suits. So I wanted to throw a monkey wrench in this list at number eight, and that's Indiana Jones. There's something about Indiana Jones style that seems very careless, but very stylish. Watching those Indiana Jones movies, it makes me want to first get a, get a cool hat, and two, get a really dope leather jacket. Something about leather jackets that just makes anyone look like an overall badass. Number nine on the list is an honorable mention. Simply because I only got through a couple episodes of, of the show, it didn't grab me like it seemed to have grabbed a whole bunch of people, and that is Mad Men. Uh, a couple things that I did see in that were, you know, thin ties, thin lapels on suits, which Something that I don't really promote on this channel, but I know a lot of people would be upset with me if I don't include Mad Men on a list of, you know, well-dressed men in TV shows and movies, even though it's at the bottom of my list. Uh, so Mad Men at number nine. All right, y'all, so that does it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments which are your favorite TV shows or movies that you get style inspiration from. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'll be back on Sunday with another video. And until then, stay fly and stay fit.